Okay, Ben, well, she may only be 17 years old, but tonight Delilah Evans is facing a life sentence for murdering her own mother. Evans was officially charged with first degree murder for that deadly encounter that happened on Christmas Day. Jermont Terry spoke to her family, he joins us live in Jermont. They say she should not be behind bars. Yeah, the family is saying, Kimberly, that there were some missed signs. Now, this family is most definitely torn. They are planning the funeral of this mother of four, while the mother's daughter is officially charged in the killing. But the question tonight is whether or not the 17-year-old comprehends what police say she did. These images of Delilah Evans shows her happy and joyful with family. But this picture shows a teenager who police say snapped when she attacked her mother by stabbing her to death. It's an unfortunate situation. Everything is, is not is not great. Evans' half-sister Rosanna Evans tells me what happened inside the Washington Square apartments in Clinton's township when Christmas Day shocked the entire family. It's unclear who called police, but when officers arrived, they found Evans' mother, Sonia Ring, dead inside. They quickly took the 17-year-old into custody. They haven't let us talk to her. We haven't seen her. She haven't made a phone call. Today, Macomb County prosecutors slapped Evans with first degree premeditated murder, a charge the teen's family insists shouldn't apply due to her cognitive skills. Obviously, she has a mental illness. She's young. She can't comprehend. I wouldn't even be able to comprehend what the judge was saying to her if I was a 17 year old in the situation that I'm in right now. Court records show Evans attacked her brother back in October. She was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon, but prosecutors dropped those charges because her brother did not want to see his sister in jail. But now, two months later, the 17-year-old is back behind bars with a charge she can't run from, this time murder. I don't know what's afflicting her. I just know she had some mental issues. Now, the victim leaves behind four children besides Evan, who is sitting, Evans, who is sitting in jail. She has two adult sons and a, 16, and a six year old daughter. We do know that none of them were home when this crime took place. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Jermont, we just heard one of the family members there say that Evans suffers from some sort of mental illness. Is there any record of being diagnosed officially with anything or evidence that she got any help? No, no records, according to the family, that she was diagnosed with anything, had never been seen a doctor or anything of that nature. They just say there was something that wasn't right, but they, she never really got diagnosed. Of course, they will likely try to use it as some type of defense um, when she gets her own attorney, Kimberly. So unfortunate. All right, Jamont, thank you.